you're supporting your friends, and their friends haven't changed, right? Um, it's just you're supporting your buddy. I think sports does a great part of um, allowing people to be uh, inclusive, uh, and is that something that you uh, have learned from sports? And then also, you know, talk about walking in the Boston Pride Parade. I wholeheartedly believe in uh, that our government should be able to support its people um, and people who they are and, and allow every person to be able to chase their dreams, right? And a big part of that is making sure that they can marry who they love and that we celebrate that person. Jason, I'm, I'm, it's been amazing to watch the progress that we've made, uh, our communities and our society has made in pretty short order over these past couple of years. But Jace, largely because of people like you that are willing to, to as you said in your article, in, in your interview in Sports Illustrated, raise your hand and say, here I am. Um, and not look to do it for notoriety or fame, but because you felt like you had a responsibility and it was the right thing to do. You get to see people for who they are, not, well, not what they are, right? And for who that human being is. And I think it's a fundamental lesson of, of sports. It's a fundamental lesson of friendship. You know, look, one of the highlights for me over my time in office um, was marching the Boston Pride Parade with you. Um, you know, the people were far more excited to see you than me. Uh, there were far more tears for you than me. As there should be. Um, this movement is still evolving, and yes, there's barriers that still need to be broken, but there are going to be, there still are courageous people that are willing to take on these challenges and fight these battles so that eventually people won't have to. It was so fitting to me that you were going to take that responsibility on your shoulders. Uh, obviously the time had come for somebody to be able to, to stand up and say, hey, this is me, but that that was going to be you. Um, and for somebody that was willing to put themselves out there um, because nobody else had and because you felt, I think, again, a responsibility not just to yourself and your loved ones, but for so many other kids, boys and girls, men and women that are going through this to um, to be able to make that pathway a little bit easier for them. So Joe, I just want to say thank you for your support, for your friendship. Um, there's no way that I can repay you or your family for um, all that you, you've done for me and the LGBT community. Thank you. Listen, um, it is, it's what friends do, right? When push comes to shove. It's just, it's what friends do. And, um, uh, you know, <laughs> thank you for um, being a good friend to me for years. And obviously, um, I think, Jace, from my perspective, and I think um, for others that have gone through similar circumstances with her friends, um, you're supporting your friends. And their friends haven't changed, right? Um, it's just you're supporting your buddy. And that's all that it was, and it's all it ever will be, and it's as simple as that. So, happy to do it. Thanks, dude. Just don't go play for the Yankees. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> no worries with that. <laughs>